Well then, recognize this, Crean. Not many revolutions of the sun from this day you shall pay the price. A corpse for a corpse, the life of your only begotten child. For you've housed a living soul beneath the ground below, and held a dead man here. Without his grave or rights, it is so wrong. I was there. I will speak. I'll leave nothing out. Why soften the tale and be called a liar later? I went with Creon to the edge of the plain where it lay, the dog-torn parts, the parts of him, Polynices. We prayed the gods to hold back their anger. We washed him and burned him on fresh-cut branches. We piled high a mound and we left to go to the tomb of the girl, the bride of death. And we're still a ways off when we hear a scream from that unholy place. Someone comes running, but Creon won't stop. The scream is all around us now. He quickens and lets out a cry to pierce your heart. Oh no, oh no, he says. Am I the prophet now? Could there be a road darker than this road I'm on? It is my own son crying out. Go quicker, you people. Drag the rocks back and go in. Do the gods deceive me, or is that Haman's voice I hear? Poor, hopeless king. So we do what he says, and against the back wall we see her hung by the neck on a strand of silk. Then the boy, with eyes like murder, spat in his father's face. He said not a word, but drew his sword and lunged. Creon ran out. The boy missed. Then, in a black rage at himself, he tensed his body for the sword and drove it all the way up to the lung. Poor boy was still alive. He folded himself around the girl and breathed a thread of red, red blood onto her white white cheek. So he lay, a corpse on a corpse, and his bridal consummation was in the house of death. What does that teach us? Bad judgment. Bad judgment is the worst thing in the world a man can have.